Hello my dear friends, welcome to our YouTube channel. Friends, in this video, we are going to learn the top pharmaceutical quality control interview questions and answers. And uh, these questions will be the most frequently asked basic interview questions in the quality control interview. So let us start one by one. So before that, if you are visiting our channel for the very first time, subscribe to our YouTube channel Pharma Job Alert for getting regular job updates. So let us start your interview preparation. So coming to the first question, so what is the ultraviolet and visible spectroscopy ranges? So when I interview or ask you a question like this, you can simply answer the UV visible spectroscopy range is 200 to 400 nanometers and the visible spectroscopy range is 400 to 800 nanometers. So the next question is what is the use of UV spectroscopy? Friends, spectroscopy is used for detecting the functional groups, impurities, and qualitative as well as quantitative analysis. So coming to the next question, difference between the qualitative and quantitative analysis. So qualitative analysis, it involves the identification of a compound or a chemical based on their chemical or physical properties. That is chemical properties like absorption or emission or physical properties like melting point, boiling point. So coming to the quantitative analysis, as the name indicates quantitative, the quantity, determination of the concentration or amount of the chemical compound or the components. So quant qualitative analysis, the compounds are identified based on their uh, chemical or physical properties. In quantitative analysis, estimation of the concentration or amount of chemical compound. So these, this is about, so let us move on to the next slide. So coming to the next question, explain about B. Lambert's law. So whenever an interviewer asks this question, you, you can say this, it states that the intensity of the monochromatic light, the intensity of the monochromatic light absorbed by a substance dissolved in a fully transmitting solvent is directly proportional to the substance concentration and the path length of the light through the solution. So the next question is explain infrared spectroscopy principle. So when I'm coming to the principle of this, the IR spectroscopy principle is when a molecule absorbs the infrared radiation, it vibrates and gives rise to packed infrared absorption spectrum. And this IR spectrum is specific for every molecule, different molecule absorbing the IR radiation, which is useful for its identification. So for every molecule the IR spectrum is specific so can we can easily help in uh, identification of it so coming to the next question, generally asked question define ph friends ph is the negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration and the another simple question is uh, the ph of the blood the ph of the blood ranges from 7.35 to 7.45 so next question is expand lcms HPLC, UPLC, TLC and GC. LCMS means liquid chromatography and mass spectroscopy. The full form of HPLC is high performance liquid chromatography, high performance liquid chromatography. The full form of UPLC is ultra high performance liquid chromatography and the TLC thin layer chromatography and GC gas chromatography. Friends, coming to the next question, explain the HPLC instrumentation. So coming to the instrumentation of HPLC, it involves a solvent system, a pump and a sample injector and a HPLC columns and detectors and recorders. So firstly, the solvent is degassed for eliminating the bubbles and this solvent is passed through the pump with a uniform pressure. So remember, uniform pressure the liquid sample is then injected into the mobile phase flow stream. So it passes through the stationary phase identified by detectors and recorders. So next question is in reverse phase HPLC, which type of stationary phase is used? So in reverse phase stationary phase, non-polar stationary phase is used and uh, silica gel C18 is generally used in reverse phase HPLC. So let us move on to the next slide. So what are the detectors used in HPLC? 
so the commonly used detectors in hplc are uv detector ir detector fluorescence detector mass spectroscopy and liquid chromatography mass spectroscopy detectors so how to calculate the retention factor in paper chromatography so before that so the detectors are uv ir fluorescence mass spectroscopy etc and lc so how to calculate the retention factor in paper chromatography so retention factor is equal to the formula is distance traveled by the solute by distance traveled by the sol solvent in this way we can calculate the retention factor and the next question is define molarity molarity the number of moles of solute per solution liters of solution and which is denoted by m so next commonly asked interview question which is define molality so the molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent which is denoted by small m and define normality normality is the number of mole equivalents of solute present in 1 liter of solution so number of mole e mole equivalent of solute in 1 liter of solution so next question that you may be asked in the interview is molecular weight of compounds like oxygen nitrogen carbon etc here we mentioned oxygen which is 16 and coming to the difference between humidity and relative humidity so the answer to this question is humidity is the measure of amount of water vapor in the atmosphere whereas relative humidity is the water vapor amount which exists in air and expressed as the percentage of amount which is needed for saturation at the same temperature so humidity is the measure of water vapor in the atmosphere that is relative humidity is the water vapor amount which exists in air expressed as percentage of the amount for saturation at the same temperature so let us move on to the next question so what is the difference between stationary phase and mobile phase so this is the simplest question that you may be asked the main difference is that stationary phase does not move with the sample whereas mobile phase moves with the sample this is the main difference as the name itself indicates stationary means uh, it is a stationary phase it remain uh, there only and uh, the sample and the mobile phase flow uh, uh, moves i mean moves they are going to move and no one uh, no stationary phase won't move so what is the hplc principle guys i have i must have put the question at the beginning itself but no worries so we can know here so this question is also mostly asked question the principle of hplc the basic question so the it is a technique which is used for separating the mixture of components into the individual components based on adsorption partition ion exchange and size exclusion principles and these are the principles involved the stationary phase and mobile phase are used in it and the hplc is used for identification quantification and purification of components from a mixture so coming to the next question which is what are the detectors used in hplc detectors used in hplc so i think this question is already repeated uh, no it's not repeated uh, so the detectors used are U uv detector and ir detector fluorescence detector and mass spectroscopy so what gas is used in gas chromatography so in gen gas chromatography generally helium is widely used here you can see helium is widely used and other gases which are used as nitrogen and hydrogen hydrogen is not used because this is not safe and what are the types of gas chromatography generally two types of gas chromatography are there which include gas solid chromatography and gas liquid chromatography so next important question you may be asked in the qc interview is what is validation friends validation is a documented evidence that provides high degree of assurance that a specific process or a system will consistently produce a result indicating predetermined acceptance criteria so difference between validation and calibration here you can see validation provides written evidence to ensure that a particular method or operation will continuously develop a product with predetermined requirements and quality credits it is performed according to validation protocol so coming to the calibration the calibration denotes that the equipment produces the values in a specified limits 
by comparing the values produced by the standard. So calibration is done according to the calibration standard operating procedure. So coming to the next question, what is the principle of separation in ion exchange chromatography? So the principle of separation is reversible exchange of ions which are present in the solution and those present in the ion exchange resin. So example is in cation exchange resin, the cations which are to be separated are in the solution and the, it exchanges for similar ions which are present in the cation exchange resin. Similarly, for anion exchange resins, the anion which are sub to be separated are present in the solution and exchange for similar ions present in the anion exchange resin. So I haven't mentioned the anion exchange resin, but I have, uh, I mean, mentioned on the screen, but I have mentioned with my words. So next final question of the, I mean, next uh, final question of this slide, the detectors used in gas chromatography. Friends, this is very important. Detectors are very important in gas chromatography, which include catharometer or thermal conductivity detector, flame ionization detector, argon ionization detector, and the electron capture detector. You may be asked about the functioning of this detector. So please prepare well for these detectors. And most of the questions in this GC and HPLC are very important. And coming to the final questions of today's video, what is retention time? Uh, retention time is the difference in time between the point of injection and appearance of peak maxima and the time taken to elute 50% of the component. So this is retention time. So peak maxima means the highest peak that we get and resolution. It is the measure of extent of separation of two components and must have achieved a baseline separation. A baseline separation must be achieved. So resolution. So these are the important interview questions that we have discussed in this video. I hope you like the uh, information. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for getting regular job violets. Thank you.